to get him out of the country because I knew uh, he was my gift from you, right? And, I, and I'm listening, I'm watching my mom as she's going, and she's going in her mind, she's going back to all the fears that she had leaving, right? But the dream was bigger than the fear. And I thought to myself, I thought to myself as we were talking in the car, and I thought to myself, what if I would have came to the land of the free and the home of the brave, and when it was time for me to be free, and it was time for me to be brave, I allowed my fears to get bigger than my dreams. See, I share with you those stories because each one of you here, you have something to fight for. It's way more than whether you pass your test. It's way more than you get your ring. It's way more than you get your title, right? You get your SMD. It's way bigger than that. See, you're, you're fighting for the legacy. You're fighting for the la your last name. What that means 10, 15, 20 years from now. You got a legacy to leave. You can't, you got to stop thinking of the little pictures and the little things, the little people that tell you no. And all this stuff, you got to play way bigger than that, right? It's a lot more fun, right? You continue to be the best because you come to meeting. You continue to grow. Learning from you, from uh, learning from your leaders can help you make and save money. You should make. You should be committed for financial independence. Walk the talk. Live the advice you give to your clients. It's your duty to become financially independent and encourage others to achieve the same goal. The most successful financial professionals are the most successful financially. Attract more clients, bigger clients. You got to get financially independent. You gotta start making a lot more money, start saving a lot more money, start getting after this thing, right? Pretty cool stuff. You gotta build a base shop. I was telling someone the other day, right? This is me, right? Look at my personal recruits. For one, two, three, for four months, I had no personal recruits. I was like, I was like, what's going on in my business? Then I looked at my numbers. For four months, I had no personal recruits. So I said, hey, you know what? I gotta, I gotta get why. When I picked up three directs, that was in March. I picked up three directs, two, one, one. Look what happened to my base shop. 50 recruits, 38, 26, 29. You gotta get why. Losers visualize the penalties of failures. Winners visualize the rewards of success. Look at all the promotions. Jay Jr., you gotta change that picture, Jay. You look like you just graduated out of high school. <laughs> 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 That's a high school project. Isn't it crazy? crazy? Ronnie still looks the exact same way, and look at Jake, right? Yeah. And look at High Martin, 100,000. You've got Jeff and Michelle, Brookshire, EBC, half a million, get rec recognized at the thing. And you get a chance to have a good time, you guys. You get a chance to travel the world. Now, this convention coming up, you guys, the, you see, this convention coming up, there's some decisions that you have to make. You've got to get clear on your outcomes. And you guys, listen. There's a lot of people that's going to try to give you reasons why they can't come to convention. And I had a good reason, you guys. And that, in June of 1998, I was broke. I didn't have any money. I was living payday to payday. My, my bank accounts were overdrawn. I, I just didn't have any money. So when Ed, was, when Ed was doing this talk with the team, I already put it in my mind that I can't go to convention. I mean, if you, looked at my, if you looked at my finances, you would go, I understand why you can't go there. You literally would do that. But Ed, what he did at the time is that he had a roster of every single person that wasn't registered for convention. And I was on that roster. So he called me. He said, Dan, I need to meet with you. So he met with me one-on-one, -on -one, and his outcome was to get me to come to convention. When I gave him all my reasons why I couldn't come to convention, you know what he said to me? He said, Dan, you realize you're 33 years old? You can't come up with a couple of hundred dollars to go to a convention that will change your life? Did you realize that? He says, the fact that you can't come up with a couple of hundred dollars is the very reason why you can't afford not to go. He says, matter of fact, you told me you wanted to retire, you needed to retire your mom. Were you playing with me? Were you serious? He says, matter of fact, if you don't come to convention, here's the deal, I'm not working with you. Because one, you lied to me, two, you don't want it bad enough. And as soon as he said that, my mind shifted. My mind shifted. It went from problem mode to solution mode. I went, I'm going, how do I figure out how to go? And guess what? I found four other broke people in the base shop. <laughs> yeah. 
we all have the same issue. And we said, you know what? Since we all have the same issue, why don't we drive together? We all chip in for gas, so gas wasn't that expensive. We all, I went and got a loaf of bread, a, a, a little a bar of Jiffy Jelly, you know, the one that has, that has peanut butter and uh, the uh, uh, jelly, so you guys should know that. I mean, you guys know that, right? <laughs> right? I had to draw that, I had a gallon of water. We, this is no kidding, you guys, we stayed at a Motel 6. $35 a night, $35 a night, right? And I remember being there going, one day, one day, man, I'm gonna come back to Vegas, I'm gonna stay in every, any room that I wanna stay, I'm gonna stay in any hotel I wanna stay, all this stuff, that was back in 1998. But I'm so grateful that my mentor had that conversation with me at that time to stretch my vision, to change my thinking. These are the conversations that you need to be having with your teammates, right? And I guarantee you, at the end of the convention, they're gonna come up to you and they're gonna say, man, thank you for having that conversation with you. Because of you, you changed my life because you got me in the environment. Don't underestimate the magic of big crowds. And this is gonna be an unbelievable event. Our breakout event is gonna be an awesome breakout event. I'm announcing, we're announcing a contest. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, right? But we're announcing a contest at this breakout meeting. You're not at the breakout meeting, guess what? You can't compete, right? We got Hawaii right now. Hawaii 2018 already kicked off. And at the end of the year, September, October, November, our biggest quarters, so we're gonna come out of convention, I'm announcing a contest, we got Hawaii, we're going into September, October, November, and in December of 2017, the entire Synergy Financial, right, the entire Synergy Financial, underneath one roof, we're gonna have a big wealth bowl, a big gala award ceremony, and what, what's gonna to happen to you and your business at that event? See, you can make a drastic move right now. You can make a drastic move right now in your mobilization to Vegas, right? The person that mobilizes the most amount of people in 